guys, we are back with another video here, and this video is to show the Western Conference team uh, builder cards that it will be available for the pre-order, that you must pre-order this before September 16th. So if you do not pre-order this in the next four days, you will not be able to receive this when you get the game. Like, confirm, that's it. Like, you'll have no chance ever again. As soon as the game comes out, uh, there's no chance of obtaining these through the pre-order. Uh, you have to probably earn them some other way uh, in the mode. So we'll see exactly, uh, you know, how they do that. But EA dropped it again today around 12 o'clock. Uh, I was in bed. I gotta, you know, wake up earlier. I mean, it's just my lifestyle. It's not good enough. I just play too much hot. But no, yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. I want to look over some of the Western Conference team builder choice items all right and i'm gonna say right now guys i'm pretty underwhelmed all right so here we go all right i'm very underwhelmed actually uh some of these names was very they just don't do it for me you know may maybe i'm crazy but they just don't do it for me uh there's really not many guys where i'm like wow oh my god i, I need to make sure i select him it doesn't really feel like that uh unfortunately so Again, that's just the way it is. So the team builder choice pack items, these are the Western Conference one. You gotta make sure you pre-order pre -order the pre-order uh, by 9-16. You receive your choice of two items. So two of them you get, uh, you know, probably select one of each conference or maybe two from one conference if you're trying to, you know, get a, a you know, a potential 90 overall, 89 overall one. Because uh, in NHL 22, we all know that the team builders, uh, if you added all the 85s up, uh, you could get one of the 90 overall team builder cards, like something like the Adam Foots, the Samuelsons. Uh, those are very good. So uh, potentially uh, that would be an idea uh, for sure. That, that's that's that, that's one of the positives I'd say from this, because more than likely you'll be able to collect these and trade them in for a higher end card, right? So uh, that's a positive for sure. But here we go. So we got the Mike Fisher card. So I mean, Fisher could be decent. I won't lie. Fisher could be fine for sure. Paul McLean, I mean, I mean, okay. I mean, I'm not going crazy about Paul McLean. No offense to Paul. Uh, John Michael Lyles, Toronto Maple Leafs legend. Uh, I just don't really like why these guys are like team builders for some of these teams. Like some of them just don't make sense, right? So like, like Zelitsky, okay. I can respect that. Zelitsky on the wild for a, a, de a decent amount of time. Campbell, okay. You want a cup with the Hawks? Okay. I can understand that. Some of these are just kind of like random. Like, like, they don't really like fit it. Like, it just feels like that some of these teams, like they don't have good alumni. So like, they just kind of put like the most random guy they have rights to uh, for these team builder packs. And it really doesn't make any sense to me. So yeah, Brian Campbell is one. Stu Barnes, again, again, I'm, I've been watching hockey forever. So I don't really know all these guys. I don't know who Stu Barnes is. I'm going to be honest. I really, really don't. So I mean, maybe if you're a Stars fan, you probably do, but I really don't know who Stu Barnes is. Uh, Brad Boys, him I know. I'm, I remember Brad Boys more on the Panthers uh, and even the Islanders a little bit, but uh, Adrian Acoin, it just sucks. It feels like there's really not many new alumni guys either uh, so far we've seen in, in 23. Maybe they're saving them for like the power buy content, I hope at least, but uh, right now I'm not really seeming too impressive any new alumni being added. The only thing about alumni is tough because really EA doesn't add anyone except for the players that actually sign with the alumni association. So unless players actually do that, you're probably not getting huge additions year to year except for guys that like just retire pretty much. So uh, it's very unfortunate there, but uh, yeah, those are the alumni players in that section. And then the other section, we have Landon McDonald, which is pretty good. I mean, Landon McDonald, unfortunately, they don't really give him uh, much. You know, they don't really give him too much of a good car usually. So that's the only downside of Landon McDonald, but it's not horrible for sure, Landon McDonald. I mean, I, I definitely can respect uh, his card for sure. I mean, he's... He's one of the better, like, player options for sure. Like, he's a cool player. Like, if you're a Flames fan, you'll be excited to take Landon McDonald and use him for a little bit. Again, these are 84 overall, guys. Realistically, you guys won't use these cards for more than a couple weeks and then eventually probably try to trade it in if you're trying to complete all the team builder sets and try to get the higher end versions of cards. Uh, Brad May, May Day, May Day for the Ducks, though. So, um, you know, okay. I mean, not really anything too uh, exciting there as well, I feel like. Uh, Steve Steos as well, uh, Edmonton Oilers, 84 overall, all right, then we also have Dustin Brown, who just retired, so there you go, Dustin Brown did sign with the Alumni Association, and Dustin Brown uh, is going to be staying in NHL for the foreseeable future, it would appear there, so 
Uh, if you're a Kings fan, you're a big Dustin Brown fan, you know, don't worry. Dustin Brown is still going to be in NHL. So there you go. Uh, Brendan Morrison here as well for the Canucks. Again, you know, he's been in the game for a while, I feel like now. You know, nothing too crazy about him. Uh, Nate Schmidt here as well. 84 overall. Nate Schmidt. Um... Okay, I mean, I think he's still active, isn't he? It's kind of weird having a team builder card of a player that's actually active. It just goes to show you Vegas really has nobody uh, they can really use, honestly. Uh, so that's kind of what they got. Uh, I, at first, I thought this said, this said Wes McCauley. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, but it's Alan McCauley. And then for Seattle, it makes sense. I mean, they, they're literally a brand new team. So they, they really couldn't have many guys that retired, right? Uh, it's Kale Fleury. So, I mean... Okay, I mean, I don't know. I just don't really, like, get too excited about these, like, names, at least. You know, maybe their stats will be good. Maybe their cards will be good. But uh, besides Landon McDonald, really, I don't really see anyone that really would be exciting to take. I mean, maybe Campbell, maybe Fisher, depending on their stats and their x factors if they have any. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think of the Western Conference uh, team builder options here? I did the Eastern Conference video the other day. EA slowly but surely releasing news. I mean, they're kind of... I feel like there haven't been news in a while, so I mean, hopefully uh, we get some news going forward because you know it's it's been like I said, it's been a it's been a grind here a little bit, so we'll see. All right, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video though. Let me know if you did. Uh, who would you take? All right, who would you take? Because now we have we have both actually. We have both the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference options here. Uh, I'll pull both up and try to compare them really quick for you guys. I mean, again, it's really tough to say. I mean, I'll end up making a video for you know what's the best one to to choose uh, when you actually end up getting the game. All right, so. Uh, here is the Eastern Conference. Yet again, if you didn't watch my video the other day, all right, you had Kyle Quincy, Placanic, Keon Olish, Anton Strawman. We also had Kobasu, Meehan, and Wade Redden, all right. And then the other guys we had were Scott Hartnell, Rusalainen, Ken Danico, Sleeger, Chris Clark, RJ Umberger. Mike Sillinger and Sean Hill. So those are the Eastern Conference guys that will be available to you in the pre-order pack as well. You get to choose two of these. Uh, so I would probably go two in each conference. Again, assuming they're going to do the same thing as last year where if you trade in, you know, whatever amount of Eastern Conference guys or whatever division, you can actually end up getting a higher end team builder card because those cards are really good uh, and for a nice amount of time early in the year. Probably you could even use them like past December, I'd say, and I would not call you crazy at all. So those are the Western Conference, sorry, the Eastern Conference guys, and then those are the Western Conference guys. So really just depends, you know, what you would like more, but to me, they're not really that amazing, any of the cards, just looking at the names, but... Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik 3 es Enjoy Discord, talk to me, follow subscribers, and keep up with all the news. Make sure you sub subscribe and turn on all the notifications for my channel here. And I'll see you all in the next video when there's more NHL 23 news.